So here's a quick look at this uh, 8 processor, soon to be 16 processor Arduino compatible board stack. So it's composed of eventually be four of these boards, um, which is a little PCB that I made. Um, it has four of the SAM uh, processors on them plus a fifth one. So the four main processors are these four here, and then this front one is the one that connects over USB. Uh, and the board's designed to have these connectors on the edges, which you can see here and here. And the idea is that the uh, four processors are connected, so this one's connected across to there and up, and each one's connected across and up. And then there's a right and a lower, or a right and an upper serial port connection as well. Um, and since there are, uh, there'll be a total of 16 of those uh, core CPUs, and each CPU does four interconnects, then you can do a 4D hypercube arrangement where <clears throat> each CPU connects to four other CPUs. And uh, it's a pretty easy scheme if you number the CPUs from 0 to 15 and then look at a binary. Um, each CPU is connected to the other CPUs that are only one bit difference between them. So uh, it's a pretty easy interconnect topology. Since I'm using connectors and little cables, you could actually do a number of different topologies. Uh, it's a pretty easy thing to do. So the little fret SAM CPU is the one that talks over USB, and it orchestrates the ability to flash all of the CPUs in the whole stack. Um, there's a set of serial ports that go between boards as well for that. Um, and so as an example, right now we're running a little script on each CPU that has some LEDs lit up. Um, and I can make a little change to the code here and recompile this and uh, hit upload there. And then it will reset all the CPUs. And if you watch, it'll upload to that one first. And now we'll switch over to the second CPU, which is the one over here. So this will cycle through all four CPUs in this board. It actually can flash all the CPUs in the stack, but I have to have the other connections finished, which I haven't done yet. Um, but it's kind of a neat little board to play with. Um, the connections between the CPUs allow you to do a, me a message passing scheme so that each CPU can then send messages to any other CPU via this uh, message passing bus. And so it allows you to sort of experiment with some um, different network interconnects. Since the network interconnects are made with cables, you could do a variety of different uh, strategies. You also could stack more than four of these boards um, and just do a, because that would be sort of a two-dimensional torus arrangement if they all just stack together if you had more than 16 CPUs. Um, so it's kind of a neat little uh, multi-CPU Arduino project.